Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now, since Monday, we've been talking about the laws of prosperity. And it is important you get this settled in your heart once and for all. God wants you to prosper. Now, I said, you know, today, you know, the first number one, I said, get it settled in your heart that God wants you to do well. He wants you to prosper. And what does it mean to prosper? It simply means knowing exactly what to do in every situation and having the ability to do it. That's prosperity. Praise God. Then it says, next one, it says, what you believe in your heart, then confess it. Now, what do I mean confess prosperity? See, sometimes people don't, you know, many things in scriptures, the, 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 the challenge is not the truth in itself. The challenge is in the understanding. See, a lot of people don't understand the truth. So they, they just take, so, so for example, I say, confess it. And now someone says, okay, I'll begin to confess it. I prosper in the name of Jesus. I prosper in the name of Jesus. I prosper. Now that's wrong. That's not what it means to confess. See, that's not what it means to confess. What it means to confess simply means speak in line with this truth. Do you understand? To confess something means speak in line or speak in agreement. So every word you speak must agree with this truth. Are you getting what I'm saying? So now I said, God wants you to prosper. So how do you speak in line with that? It means when someone comes to you and say, you know what? Maybe a prophet, maybe a prophet comes to you and say, look, in this your life, you're going to be so broke. That is the plan that God has established you know, for your life. And then you, you, you said, okay, I've heard you. You say God sent you. And then you're thinking about it. And then you're like, but, but all the scriptures now begin to come to light in your heart. And I said, no, I don't think this man heard properly. Or maybe he's misinterpreting. Maybe he's seeing what the devil is planning for me and thinking it's God. That you see, now you don't, you don't leave that person or you don't leave that place and begin to say, well, maybe sometimes we'll be broke. I don't know. Now you're not speaking in line with prosperity. See, you're not speaking in line with the truth. Let me read something to you in Matthew, Matthew chapter 12 and verse 35 to 37. Now watch this. It says, A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. Note these words. The good man is going to bring forth good things. Why? Because the treasure in his heart is good. What he has stored up in his heart is good. Now, it says an evil man will bring out evil things. So, when you are, what is coming out from your mouth is based on what you have stored up in your heart. So, if if you are speaking poverty, if you are speaking lack, if you are speaking want, it's because that is what you have stored up in your heart. So you need to check your heart condition. That's why I said sit down with all the scriptures I gave you, you know, earlier and, and settle it once and for all in your heart. It is God's will for me to do well. Now look at verse 37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. See, you are either justified or you are condemned by what? Your words. Now, Romans 10, 10 says, For with the heart man believes unto salvation, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. See, so what you are confessing is, the, is what you're going to receive. And like I said, like, to confess this doesn't mean I prosper, I prosper, I prosper. No, it means every statement coming out of your mouth in a story, in, 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 in a reportage, whatever thing you're speaking in your mouth, referring to yourself, must agree with what God's will is for you, and that is prosperity. So the second law of prosperity I bring to you is your confession must agree with the mind of God concerning prosperity. If you are speaking against prosperity, for example, over your life, then you will be condemned to what you've been saying. That's what Jesus said, with your mouth. I don't know what's in your heart. I don't know what's stored up in your heart until you begin to speak. Now, when someone begins to speak, then you say, oh, now I can see what is in his heart. Why? Because the person is confessing what is in his heart. Now, that's what true confession is. See? 
So, you know, sometimes we don't understand. So he says, if thou shalt confess that Jesus is Lord. So we tell people, yeah, say after me, Jesus is Lord. They've not really confessed that Jesus is Lord. They just said Jesus is Lord. That doesn't mean it's a confession. It's a confession when everything they say or do agrees with the fact that Jesus is Lord. That's what a confession is. See? So when you say confess something, he's not just saying open your mouth once and say something. No, he's saying when I stay around you for a while, I'll notice that it seems you think like this. Yes, that's what it means to confess. So confessing this, meaning every word that is coming out of your mouth must agree with what Jesus or what the word of God have said concerning prosperity and that it is God's will for you. So stop speaking words that are associated with being broke. Stop speaking words that are associated with being poor. Stop speaking words that are associated with you being in lack. No, no, no. Refuse those words. Now, how do you refuse those words? It's not just from your mouth. Check your heart condition. Take time. Study scriptures. Study everything God has said concerning prosperity. And let until your mouth begins to confess it naturally. Praise God. So we're going to continue tomorrow now. Remember our program coming up this week, Saturday and Sunday, and plan to watch it. The information is on the screen. Don't miss it for anything. Now until tomorrow, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.